Max from My Consult, and since 2003, we have been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So we actually started this channel so that we can help more people use their systems more effectively. So if you like what we are doing here today, do like and subscribe to support us. Thank you. Alright, so in today's video, we are going to look at a question our client recently asked us. How can we change the UOM of a product? So what is UOM? UOM is actually the unit of measurement of a particular product. So this product can be in things like kg, units, packs, all right? So let's say we come to my stock item maintenance. So from here, you can see my base UOM will be things like this. So let's say example, I create a new product, say new. Then we said we want it to be said potatoes. So we will just select here and we accidentally say we put this as bags, okay? Bags. But actually it's supposed to be in kg, but we accidentally press it in bags and we press OK now. So let's say example now potatoes this is in bags and we want to change it to kg. We press we select this product, we press edit, and we want to change it example to kg. So press kg and if you press OK. The system will prompt you and tell you you cannot just change it like that so how are you going to change this let's close the screen by cancelling it first right. you change this back to bags okay so to change this we need to come here to tools we need to come here to change code we need to come here to change uom right so first of all we need to select our product called potatoes and then we need to change the thing to bags, change to kg. All right. So once we've done, we press change, press OK, close this up, refresh. And now you can see your potatoes are in kg. So this is how easy it is to change your UOM in AutoCount. Of course, uh, if you actually change it when there's actually transactions, then they will be a little bit more complicated because one bag not necessarily means one kg. All right. So if you need help, consult us, call us, and we will see how we can actually assist you. All right. And if you have another topic that you'd like us to cover, do leave a comment below. Thanks.